G'day guys, Cam here from the fish room again and today we're doing something completely different I'm finally getting out of the fish room here and we're going to take you on a mystical, magical journey So if you've never been here before, we're talking about aquariums Tropical fish, aquatic plants, uh, we do species profiles, uh, product reviews, all that kind of awesome stuff. We've also got a Facebook page, which is the Fisherman NZ. We're on Instagram as the Fisherman NZ, and obviously you're here on YouTube with us. So if you like what we're doing, please feel free to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share our videos, and if you've got any burning questions, please bang them in down below. I'm more than happy to answer anything. Right, so as I was saying before, we're going to take you on a bit of a magical, mystical journey. Uh, basically the fish room in here is nearly done so it's time to begin on the next project so today I'm basically running you through the next project and we're gonna have a quick look at what I'm looking at doing and we'll go from there so I'm outside my new project is gonna be outside I'm wanting to get into aquaponics so for those of you that don't know what aquaponics is essentially it is your fish growing um, plants for you the plants you can then harvest and eat or what I'm going to do is do it like aquatic plants growing out of the water. So the fish are in the, the tank and then the filter pushes the water around and the waste and the food that you feed the fish and stuff like that turns into the nutrients and the fertilizers for the fish. Much like how when you're running a planted tank in at home, the plants grow underneath the water. Same kind of principle that the plants grow above the water. So what I'm planning on doing is flattening out this little area here which as you can see it's got a whole bunch of uh, dead plants whatnot at the moment then I'll flatten it out and I'm going to get myself a tunnel house or a greenhouse probably at this end here maybe at that end but probably at this end because it's close to a bit of power and I've got a few of these black tubs hanging around so I'll possibly use them for growing out fish or I've got a thousand litre cube here as well so I'll be using them for uh, growing fish and then inside the tunnel house itself I'm going to be looking at growing uh, aquatic plants that can grow immersed and possibly some capsicum and some chilies because I quite like them as well but the bulk of what I'm going to be doing is growing aquatic plants hopefully that I can begin to um, filter them through the shop a bit more oh sorry through the website which is www.thefishroom.co.nz so I've played around with growing plants immersed um, I put all of these outside at the beginning of winter, they're all crypts, I don't know if any of them are going to come up, but these are just a pure dirt, uh, water, heat and light system, they're all heated that were in the fish room, um, so the sun's going to do the heating, and they had a light above it, so hopefully the, the sun will do the natural lighting, and the natural heating, and then I'll move these, possibly, I'll take the dirt out, Hopefully some things pop up because I'm leaving it outside for a little bit longer and I can start with this crypt collection. If not, I'll be doing Echinodorus, some Anubius, and I'll end up picking up some more of these crypts as well. Uh, maybe some Java ferns, probably some stem plants and that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll just see what kind of works the best for me and what I'm doing. Uh, so for those of you that watched some of the pond videos that I did uh, last summer, you know that I was growing some guppies and some corys and stuff like that. So I'll probably uh, use them again. Uh, possibly some silver mollies or some black mollies or something along those lines as well. Something nice and easy that the fish can reproduce. Um, obviously I'm not going to be able to eat the fish because they're going to be too small. But as long as they can reproduce, hopefully they can sustain the plants and grow the plants as well. If that doesn't work, I might upgrade them to goldfish or something like that because everyone that's kept goldfish knows that they produce a lot of waste and they feed on uh, vegetable matter, which is a good thing as well. So it might be goldfish that I use, but I'm going to try with tropical fish, because that's basically what I'm really interested in. And then as they hopefully spawn outside, we'll be able to uh, bring them in through the website as well and sell them on there as well, so everybody's winning in that situation. And this is the leftovers of the summer outside pond stuff. One of the kids had a bit of a field day throwing some grass in there. But believe it or not, there are still a couple of golden barbs in here. They managed to last the entire winter, and now it's warming up, so I was really impressed. Um, I thought I'd lost them. I actually thought I'd caught everything out of here, but turns out I hadn't. 
and there's still a couple of goldfish hanging around in here but I was quite amazed that um, golden barbs managed to hang in through there as you can see we're getting a little bit of new spring growth so the plants themselves growing really well as well or about to go really well but yeah, I'm probably going to disturb all of this and use it as part of the aquaponics system which I'm really looking forward to so there you have it there is my plan for the upcoming spring and summer so as soon as the fish room is finished we'll be getting into that um, I hope to have it done this season uh, but if I don't I don't but the goal is definitely that I'm a little bit time limited at the moment uh, I hope there's some more time sort of wiggles its way free as we get a little bit longer days and stuff like that but that's the general plan of it have myself a tunnel house growing some fish growing some plants some aquatic plants get everything going and then hopefully you guys can reap the rewards with some spawning fish that'll be able to sell a bit cheaper on some aquatic plants I can sell a bit cheaper because they're growing quite nicely so that's the plan I hope you enjoyed it have a good one team heavy fish keeping and catch you later